Hi everyone, Gavin Townsend, the Transformation Guru. Uh, thank you for watching my videos today. I have got more coming out this year. Um, some exciting news today. I've just got tagged in on the uh, latest edition of Living Magazine. And uh, late last year, I was asked to feature in the magazine and they gave me a two page uh, editorial for free. So um, I was quite pleased with that. And basically I'll just highlight in that magazine um, the, the, the short term instant gratification mindset that most people um, start out with, especially in the, the world of weight loss now. And um, weight loss culture and uh, crash dieting culture has definitely caused more mental uh, health issues uh, than ever before and um, the reason why I talk so openly about this is because uh, I get a lot of people come to me with a false illusion that because their friends lost so much weight in a sh such a short term period or they've seen a, a celebrity who's lost a lot of weight quickly that that's the way to live and the reality is uh, if you are living with that short term fixed mindset of uh, an instant goal of crash dieting and achieving a, uh, a weight loss strategy um, within a matter of weeks or less than six weeks, shall we say, the likely it is, in most cases, you're going to rebound up and you're probably going to starve yourself as well as um, cause more mental and emotional frustration as much as damage your body. So I've met people over the years who've damaged their eyesight as a result of crash dieting. I've also met characters who uh, are, are always renowned for um, diets and um, constantly weight crashing. I do physique competitions. I've just come out of a, uh, a bulking period, so I've put on over two and a half stone. But that was great because it allowed my muscles and my body to repair, and now I can go back into uh, my fitness routine with a lot more uh, passion and excitement as much as um, coming less injury prone should we say. Being super lean and super fit uh, it does take its toll. Uh, at my peak last year in 2018 I was doing over 30 hours a week of exercise and I was eating a lot of food each and every day and um, it took me about six months to achieve the physique that I was happy with uh, if I'm honest and, um, and it didn't last for that long uh, to be completely ripped and down to um, sub 5% body fat, it was only sustainable for a couple of weeks around a show. So obviously when uh, I see a lot of uh, fitness stars and uh, bodybuilders always promoting their super ripped photos all the time, um, it does create a false illusion and expectation for consumers on, um, and the general public on how um, these people look and perceive themselves all year round and the reality is for a lot of people today uh, it's only the 10th of January and I can guarantee by um, the late part of January a lot of people are going to feel down in the dumps, fed up, frustrated and um, pretty much defeated with the fact that they haven't achieved their instant weight loss goals. So. Uh, I'm very pleased, like I say, to appear in the, uh, the Midlands uh, Living magazine and um, in there I just illustrate the importance of looking at things from a more of a long term approach uh, rather than a quick fix approach and um, I find that especially the last few years with the growth rate of the likes of social media and Instagram with body perfection uh, being flaunted around as if it's really easy, it just isn't for a lot of people. Um, and people just need to take a bit of a reality check. So um, if you want to be in the best shape of your life and you want to look like an athlete, well simply put, you need to dedicate your life like an athlete does. There's no point in uh, say a woman who does two hours of exercise classes a week and binges on uh, junk food and alcohol each and every week, who aspires to look like Jess Grenis who tra trains in excess of five hours a day every day despite now retiring um, as an Olympic athlete. There's no point in guys fixating to look like a professional bodybuilder or a professional footballer um, 
and, and slim lines like a professional footballer if again they're at the pub every night and go to the gym once or twice a week and don't eat healthily. Well, professional athletes eat healthily consistently and they're training every day. So it's one thing I talk about all the time is just consistent behaviour, um, working at your goals but again working with a realistic mindset. And it's one thing I'm putting in my book this year which I'm releasing and uh, like I say late last year I was uh, offered to uh, be in the Midlands Living magazine uh, but also uh, next month in February I've been invited to do a talk uh, at Loughborough University. I've got a lot of other things in the li uh, limelight. It's a very exciting year ahead and uh, yeah it's just one subject which I'm, which I'm very passionate about and I have to stress to all people who want to lose weight is just be a bit more realistic with your expectations and try and work with more of a longer term approach and when you do achieve the goal hopefully in a, a slower more achievable manner once you're there rather than crash weight dieting and booming back up again if you just lose the weight gradually if you can get into a better shape over a longer period it's then looking at how to challenge that plateau and maintain that physique or body shape or that fitness goal at that point and usually at that point of plateau when someone's focused on weight loss for so long I turn on its head and I say to people why don't you just focus on a sport or a fitness activity so I've had people go into football boxing uh, I've even ha helped people who've gone from uh, four or five stone overweight to now being gym instructors and personal trainers so the fixation has gone from weight loss now into sport and fitness activity and it's uh, it's great to see that but unfortunately what tends to happen is where along the journey and quite often not is the crash dieting and the rebound effect what tends to happen is with the crash dieters they get very frustrated miss the, the junk foods the sugar foods and they tend to rebound very quickly um, and end up putting more weight on than they originally started with or along the journey life gets in the way and uh, tend to plateau um, and, and reverse back so for a lot of people out there if, if you do have stubborn body fat perhaps yes make it a short term or mid term uh, goal between three and six months to lose body fat sensibly um, but have a, a focus on sport I've had people change their body shapes completely as a result of going into the armed forces uh, where the focus has been strictly on fitness and cardiovascular fitness and as a byproduct of that the weight loss, loss has happened but uh, we are going to see as an obese growing uh, nation and in western culture as obesity trends soar uh, we are going to get more and more people struggling with mental health as a result of uh, not getting the instant uh, weight loss results so if there's anything you take from this video take it with a long term approach and uh, when you've hit your weight loss goals try to uh, focus more on fitness and sport activities or better still focus on a fitness sport activity from the onset and weight loss will be a byproduct of that sport or fitness activity thanks for watching make sure to hit the subscribe button on my youtube channel appreciate all the followers just got over 2,000 uh, youtube subscribers now and um, it's it's going to be great to give more free content out to those who want to follow. Thanks for watching. I'm Gavin Townsend, The Transformation Guru. Have a great day.